Today I'm going to show you how to create artificial neuron in Python absolutely from scratch and then use it for real-world application, flower classification. Okay, so let's start with very quick introduction. Artificial neuron is called Perceptron. This idea was developed like 70 years ago and was inspired by biological neurons. But as you can see, Perceptron architecture is much, much simpler. This loop from second picture is related with training, so let me remove it because it's not relevant now. Perceptrons are just building blocks for complex neural networks. So if you compare neural network to screen, Perceptron would be a pixel. That was kind of weird comparison, but let's move on. We have some kind of inputs. Every input has weight, it is summed, and then passed through some threshold function. And that's it. This trivial mechanism literally is powering every complex AI solution we have on the market today. Okay, enough theory, let's jump into the code. First step is data. I am not flower lover, but I'm going to use this iris dataset. My perceptron will be binary. In other words, it can detect only two classes. So I am interested in iris setosa and iris versicolor. I am not using Iris Virginica at all, so I will load only first 100 rows of this dataset because three classes classifier would be much harder problem. I need three basic libraries, matplotlib for visualization, pandas for data and numpy for math. First, I am creating data frame, select 100 rows, fifth column and values from it. It's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 species. So if I will print it, I have 100 labels and to make it simpler, I am replacing iris setosa with minus one and versicolor with one. It should look more or less like this. Now I have to extract my input values. I called it X, first 100 rows, but this time column one and third. It's sepal length and petal length. So X is basically just a bunch of pairs with sepal length and petal length. Some boilerplate code for visualization. This data created two clusters and now they are ready for perceptron feeding. This is exactly what we want to build. It is super easy, so quick explanation. We have inputs and weights. Uh, don't be concerned with bias. I'll explain it later. These two are just values from dataset and weight one and weight two can be picked randomly. Then we are multiplying x1 with w1 plus x2 multiplied with w2 and at the end plus bias times one, so just bias. I found a very cool article about bias by Cairo Davy. Sorry if I pronounce it wrong. And this guy created very cool animations. If you had linear algebra, you know that in the linear function we have, for example, one X plus something. And this something in our case is bias and it enables to move uh, the function up and down without any rotation. Here you can see animation how Perceptron is adjusting without bias. It is just rotating, but with bias, Besides rotation, it can, it can also go up and down. Conclusions, bias is quite important. And we end up in here. Now simple threshold function. If this value, after summing all of uh, these inputs, is greater or equal than zero, perceptron will fire. It means it will return one. Otherwise, it will return minus one. And now in training process, I'm going to compare these values with actual labels from data. And if it doesn't match, go back and adjust the weights. And it is basically the full concept of artificial neuron. Let's implement it. I forgot about learning rate. The whole idea behind this is you don't want your network to learn too fast. So in this diagram, it should be here. So before updating the weights, we want to scale down the signal for, for example, 0 0.1. This value can be much smaller, can be much bigger. For now, let's stick with 0 0.1. Epochs are just number of 
iterations over training data set. As I said before, weights are totally random. Bias is also totally random. If you want, you can play around with these numbers. Train function is expecting labels and array with petal and sepal length, our x1 and x2. Iterate over epochs. Iterate over zip x and y. Zip is basically taking first index of x and first index of y. It is gluing it together into tuple. The update value is actual label minus current perceptron prediction multiplied by learning rate. And these two lines are the most important. It is adjusting the weights and the bias. Exactly as in our diagram, bias is multiplied by one and weights are multiplied by inputs. And from this signal, I am up updating directly W1, W2, and bias itself. If update was not equal zero, it means that neuron made mistake. I want to add it to errors and append it to errors list. So if error for particular epoch would be zero, I know that neuron made perfect classification and I can end my training. Calculate input is just this fragment. I am multiplying x with self.weights with numpy dot and add bias. Prediction is the last step, greater than zero, return one, otherwise return minus one. Let's run it and let's run the training. As you can see, after only six epochs, neuron classifies everything perfectly. If I'll make, for example, 80 epochs, it is totally unnecessary because results are exactly the same. And now, fun part, if I pick the data, which neuron never saw, for example, four and five, it would be somewhere around here. I am expecting it would be versicolor, so model should return one. Four, five, uh, it works perfectly fine. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something new. Uh, if you want to see some more complicated examples, let me know in the comments below. Thanks again and see you soon.